right, so we talk question, about question. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are some people who say dreams are just random things occurring in your brain. Um, or even some mystics that will say, you know, a lot of dreams don't have meaning. Maybe a few do, but you don't necessarily need to focus on that. Um, what's your commentary in reference to those ideas? Yeah, well, hogwash. Um, I would say the first thing is that uh, a lot of times people think of dreams, they think of them as uh, purely symbolic, right? So they say, well, what is the symbolism of a dream? Okay. But there's more to dreaming and there's more to consciousness than that. And so, um, a lot of, sure, a lot of people, even in my field and professionally, think that they're not even sure if dreams are uh, of any use, actually, um, even though it's something that we engage in and, and, and everybody does and every night and, and uh, it's part of a sleep cycle and all of that. So we're going to talk about that. but. The thing is that most people who talk about dreams don't actually use a system to interpret dreams. They try to interpret the dream purely from an idea of symbolism. And there are levels of symbolism. And then there are other things that are not considered symbolism that actually are part of interpreting a dream. And so I have actually developed a system for interpreting. Anybody can use the system and if you do, what you'll notice uh, in a very short time is that every single dream that you interpret has, uh, not only does it have meaning, but it is an actual expression of how that person is living right now. So, my body, my brain would wake up before my like body was ready to wake up, so it's like I would be up, but my body wouldn't move mm -hmm. yet, and I would just be looking at everything in the room. Yeah. So I'm gonna go mess with the minds of this one. There's a lot of people who talk about what's called sleep paralysis, where they wake up but they can't move. Mm -hmm. And many of these people, they ask me, "Is a witch riding their back?" <laughs> or is the devil made them do it or some sort of thing like this what's your commentary on this idea of sleep paralysis what is it how should people understand it from yeah. the perspective of a person that's deep in the dream world well if I had not have experienced being out of the body conscious awake being able to absolutely verify for myself that I was indeed out of my body and get back in. If I hadn't been able to do that, I don't know if I'd be able to answer this question. But I learned about what's actually happening basically actually through understanding the principles of the yoga tradition that I follow. But all throughout history, actually people now don't know that ancient people understood that we are composed of several bodies. So one of those bodies is what we call emotion or action body, or some people say astral body. And this body can leave the physical body and does often and travels. And so what happens is people don't remember that they stepped out of their physical body and they're coming back and they're reintegrating all these different bodies back together. And the physical body itself is not yet completely integrated back into the motion body. So what happens is, you'll notice, if you experience this, you'll notice that you, you can't move, but you can think, you can um, try to move, and you can't move. You can try to yell, you won't be able to yell. You can often, you can see around the room, even though your eyes are closed on the outside, but you can still see. And during that time, uh, most people will panic because they can't move. But if you learn to become more calm during that time, and you just have to tell yourself, okay, I, I call it in between when I'm like that. I say, okay, I'm in between, let me calm down, right? And usually during that time then, uh, it's very likely that you will see other things that you normally don't see. So, for example, being visited by someone is very common during that time. The most powerful example of that that happened to me 
it wasn't a witch, it was my grandfather. My grandfather came in the room, he came over to me, he made a gesture, like he just came up and he just went like that, he made a gesture, and it was like he gave me just an incredible amount of energy. And then he walked away, and during the time that that happened, I couldn't move, I was aware of everything, I couldn't move, I saw him leave the room, and then after he walked out of the room, then I was able to move again. Uh, and I've had encounters with other uh, persons who passed on while I'm in that state. Um, and I know other people who have also experienced that. So it's a very natural thing that happens to a lot of people. Most, uh, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people can relate to it. But the point is, is that you're just reintegrating your physical body with your emotion body. And <clears throat> your physical body cannot move on its own. Uh, Western scientists don't understand this. They think the brain is causing the body to move, but actually that's not true. The brain is in service to the, the action body, and uh, the action body causes all actions.